want you to think about every influencer on YouTube that promises you $5,000, $10,000, even $100,000 a month of net profit. But all you have to do is learn their ways. All you have to do is buy their course and then you will also make as much money as them. Well, I, <laughs> I wanted to give this a try. I got my hands on Iman Gatsi's $3,000 course called Agency Navigator. I went through every painstakingly long module, learned, took notes, took, all, gathered all the information, and then I went ahead and I started my own agency and I signed my first client. But in today's video, I'm not gonna talk about the agency or signing my first client. I'll leave that for a different video. In today's video, we'll discuss Iman's course. I'll give you a summary and overview of the course itself and whether you even need a $3,000 course to start an agency. Iman's course is broken into different segments, different modules he calls it, but from all the different mod modules that he has, there are seven main ones that I've gathered or I saw some sort of an importance in to be able to start this agency. The first one is called laying down your foundation. This really talks about the agency model, the business process. He talks about picking your niche and then the code of honor within this business model. The next module, and this is probably the least important out of the seven, is called mindset. Self-explanatory, what mindset do you need to have to be able to start an agency? I feel like everybody that already follows them and wants to start an agency already has the mindset to be able to start the agency. So I feel like this module is a little bit contradictory. Uh, the next module is called systems and processes, the bread and butter of the course, right? This is where he starts to give you some sort of return on your investment. In this module, he talks about the pricing models that you have to set for your agency. So for example, if you have an agency that works with a local business, the best model for you would be to do a monthly retainer or bold offer, where you charge them just this flat fee every single month, and then you do the services for them, you know, run the ads for them. So for the client, you'd be like, all right, we'll charge you $1,500 a month, and then we'll run ads for you. But obviously you'd be paying for the ads as well. So you're just charging them for the service. Or what you could do is if let's say your client is a large e-commerce brand and they're making $100,000 every single month in revenue, but now you as an agency goes there and then you help them make two, three hundred dollars thousand dollars extra every single month. What you could do is charge them a small retainer fee, but then a performance-based pricing model. So on the $200,000 extra revenue that you bring them every single month to running ads, you charge them 5% based on that performance. And that a lot of times ends up being a lot more than just a small $1,500 or $2,000 retainer fee every single month. So for an e-commerce brand, a performance-based pricing model makes a lot more sense. All right, by this point, you're supposed to have the business process understood. You're supposed to have the mindset to be able to run this business. So the next step ideally for you would be to go ahead and find clients and set up meetings, which that is this next module, finding clients and setting meetings. I was so excited about this. I was like, you know what? I can figure out the rest. I can figure out how to start this business. I can figure out everything else. But finding clients is probably one of the most challenging things with this business. Without clients, the business does not exist. The clients are the ones that pay you, right? So how do we find clients? He doesn't really tell you how to find clients. He gives you a basic overview of what you could do, email marketing, social media, DMs, or you know, making local phone calls, cold calls. He doesn't give you remotely as much detail as you need at all to be able to do this. Let's say if you're a newbie, you have absolutely no business experience at all from before, and you don't know how to make these phone calls, he doesn't go into detail about how to do this. And the next three modules are sales and follow up. Let's say if you do find clients, which you probably won't with this course, but you know, how do you follow up with the clients and then service delivery is his last module. Uh, if you do find clients, how do you deliver the services? Again, I would have hoped he went into a lot of detail on how to deliver services. How do you run the ads? Do you do it yourself? Do you have somebody else do it? He doesn't really go into as much detail as you need to be able to do that. So I was a little bit disappointed on that end as well. So that's the gist of the course itself, but my main problem is not the course. I don't want to dive into each specific module and talk about each module and the problems that it has and what I think of them. I'm going to give you an overall review of the course in its entirety. So we all have to realize that Iman's audience are 15 to 18 year old kids that have absolutely no knowledge of business. They have not started any business at all. Most of them, some of them might have, right? But most of them have no knowledge of how to run a business, how to start a business, how to talk to a person, how to talk to a client, right? They have absolutely no experience at all. And Iman's course is more so catered for the person that already has some sort of an understanding of how to talk to a person, how to hit up a business and be like, excuse me, I'm an agency, I'm a business, I want to run ads for you and have that confidence, right? He does not dive into that at all. With these 15 to 18 year olds, they spend their allowance money that they've gathered over the last 10 years onto buying the $3,000 course and then they think that within the next six months, because Iman promised me that I'll 10x my money, they think that they'd do that. And then the reality hits them in the face, they see that they cannot do that. 
That's my problem. The problem is not the mindset and these 18 year olds thinking that they can go and conquer the world. That's a great mindset to have. That's a lot of ambition. I want the ambition to live and I want them to go ahead and try to conquer the world. But the setup itself is very unreliable, right? The setup, the foundation of the setup is not strong enough for them to be able to slowly build on top, right? Because it's going to collapse. Because once you're out of the $3,000 that you have and you have no knowledge from this course that you bought, what are you going to do next? That is what my issue is with Iman's course. So in summary, you don't really need a $3,000 course to be able to start a social media marketing agency. You can do this all with just the information that you have on the internet and on YouTube. There's already a lot of, more than enough, free information, free videos on YouTube that will teach you how to start a social media marketing agency. In my next video, I'm going to go ahead and dive into the basic concept, the basic things that you need to know to be able to start an agency, right? Things like what truly is the business process? If I'm starting from the ground up, what is it that I need to know? How do I find clients? And then how do I run? How do I deliver the services? So in my next video, I'm going to talk about that. I'll talk to you guys about how I was able to build my website, start the agency and find my first client alongside answering those questions. It's actually very simple. You don't need this $3,000 course. Remember, I did this as an experiment and it worked. So it's very simple. As always, show me some love, like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.